Am I the idiot for ruining my family tree and making my mom cry? IF, 22, have been dating my BF Luca M, 23, since my senior year of HS. For a little context, Luca is infertile, and the chances of us having our kids are extremely low. I am well aware of this and it truly doesn't bother me. I have also never really wanted kids, especially at a young age. Luca and I are on the same page and we want to live our 20s free of the responsibilities kids bring. My family on the other hand does not agree with our ways of thinking. I am an only child and the only one left to continue our bloodline, my dad's words. We were having dinner and the conversation over dinner was going well until my mom and GMA brought up the conversation of marriage and kids. They asked when we planned to get married and we said it wasn't our main priority. Mind you we have just begun our careers and are not in a financial state to even consider a wedding. My mom's rebuttal to my statement was that she would cover any expenses, which also meant she would control everything. I said firmly no thank you we'll wait. They also discussed kids and said we'd have to have them quickly because my fertile clock is ticking. Luca told them that was okay, BC he was infertile. My mom goes so you won't give me proper grandkids? She then goes and I quote, I have already accepted that my grandchild won't be pure with your genes now you say you can't have any at all. I blew up and asked what she meant by pure and that she was being completely disrespectful to us. Luca is Cuban and has a darker complexion which my family seems to find an issue with. I have come to find out they have been badmouthing us behind our backs. She said that we have never had a mixed child in the family. Luca then asks if we were to have a kid would they not love it BC it wouldn't be white? They called him rude for insinuating such a thing. I backed him up and said if we have kids or not is up to us and told them they were out of line. She also added that if we adopt we'd ruin our family tree and it wouldn't be legit. I stood up and left with Luca, ending the conversation with your all a bunch of f asterisk ket up asterisk holes. That night I received a text from my mom. She started by saying I was ungrateful and I am a disgrace to the family. Saying I should be ashamed of how I spoke to her and that she deserves an apology. She called me after I left her on read and said I am being brainwashed by Luca. She says she can arrange an artificial insemination with one of her friends, white sons. That I should want kids, especially now because I can stay home and raise them. I called her a lunatic and said she was a bitch. I called her a racist bitch who I am frankly ashamed to call my mother. She cried and hung up and I received a text from dad saying I took it too far and I'm not allowed back in their home, if I don't plead for their forgiveness and oblige by their standards. I replied fuck you and blocked them both. So, AITA? Update, first thank you for all the supportive advice and sweet words. I showed Luca the post and he sat there reading and dying at some of the responses he has never liked my family to be fair, but put up with them for me. I'd choose him over them any day of the week. We also informed his mom, whose English isn't the best so we had to translate it, and she said that I have a family with her and to forget about mine. She is the true definition of a good mother and has shown me more unconditional love than my mother has in my 22 years of life. She has even been teaching me Spanish and how to cook Cuban food, a light in this whole situation. I have gone completely NC with my family as of today. This incident occurred about a week ago. Luca and I have been looking for a place together and my family will not be knowing where that is. An update on the situation, my cousin, mom's side, who is a bitch, put nicely seem to have found my post and send it to my parents and aunt. Frankly IDJF BC I kinda hoped they'd see the comments. They told her to tell me I was being an entitled bitch and shouldn't add fuel to the fire. They said that what they said isn't wrong in their eyes and the comments made them cry. <laughs> they added to the, how could I disrespect them when they raised me to be who I am which is a load of BS. I am nothing like my parents thank God and learned to make my own choices as a teen. I told them I never want to see them again and if they want to apologize they would have to get on their knees and beg for it from Luca, and myself. I would also never allow them into my life unless Luca is on board as well. Not gonna happen. They went back to the marriage crap and started comparing me to their friends' daughters who are housewives with good Christian husbands raising family, at my age while I'm a whore who can't settle down. They claim our 5-year relationship is a scam because that's enough time to get married and make a commitment. 
My cousins said this is why no one in the family ever liked me, because I'm the outcast, in this case it's a compliment. My cousin is a strong conservative who believes whatever her parents tell her. As soon as I had a mind of my own I never respected my parents' beliefs which they hate me for. My cousin told me I was a traitor and to GTH. I told her I just left hell and don't plan on going back. <laughs> Comment 1. It's gotta be no contact, except for one single twist of the knife. Informing them that she scheduled an appointment to get her tubes tied, op definitely doesn't have to actually do that just to kill their hopes at all, and that she's killing the bloodline. Comment 2. I mean, as it stands now, Op has stated they have never really wanted children, so while that may change, it's more than likely it won't happen. So, instead of the family sitting around hoping things will change, just end it. Tell them it's impossible. Tell them she found out she's also infertile, that's a go-to of many child-free people. Take the hope away. Stomp on it. Now for the next story. Am I the idiot for telling my mom and stepdad my dad doesn't owe them or their kids anything and they are teaching my half-siblings to be just as entitled as they are? My mom left mine and my sister's dad when we were 2M and 1F for our stepdad. Our parents split custody of us, but as you can imagine, it was not a beautiful, everyone is BFF's kind of blended family. Dad was hurt. Dad still probably is in some ways. Mom is the one who told us what happened when we were still small, maybe when we were around 5 and 6, because she thought we were confused by the fact dad wasn't going to meet her and my stepdad's baby and the fact we weren't around the baby, all the time, which is something she thought we were sad about. We were never confused about dad not being around the baby. We knew why. Because the baby was not his kid like we were his kids. We also weren't exactly sad because babies are loud and we loved our dads. His house had him, we had more outdoor space and we had kids to play with in the neighborhood. I think it did more harm than good the way mom talked about it because she came across to us, like she wanted us to dislike dad for being mad at her for leaving him for our stepdad. There was a point a year ago too where my sister said she felt like mom wanted us to say we were glad it happened or something. I kinda got that too. But my sister could put it into words where I couldn't before. My parents don't really talk. I don't think dad is mad anymore, but he's never going to go out of his way for mom or our stepdad. I don't think he's wrong for that either. They don't care about his feelings. And our half-siblings aren't any of his concern so it's never going to bother me. A couple of years ago my mom and stepdad got into a car accident while we were all in school. My sister and I were at dad's that week so he picked us up from school like normal. I'm not sure who asked or how many different people asked him but at least one person asked if he could pick up my half-siblings from school. When he picked us up, they were in different schools but they are right next to each other. My dad said no and he didn't take them. But someone communicated badly because my half-siblings were left there and it became a whole ordeal. My dad ended up being painted as the bad guy. My half-siblings were made very aware of the fact my dad didn't pick them up and how wrong others thought that was. My dad is now spoken about like he owed something and didn't follow through. My stepdad has called him a petty asshole. I'm tired of it and when my mom and stepdad were bitching about how cruel he was to my half-siblings, I told them my dad didn't owe their kids anything and given how much my half-siblings speak crap about my dad, they were making them just as entitled as the two of them are. That they should never have been told shit and should not think my dad owes them something. They tried to ground me for speaking to them that way and I told them they were ridiculous and I was so done with them. My mom said I am the oldest and should be more compassionate and understanding. She also accused me of being like my dad. Comment 1. It's not that bizarre if you're as entitled as the mother seems to be. She expects her ex to be totally cool with her and the guy she left him to be with. It's good to be civil towards them, especially with kids involved, but you don't owe them anything. It's like the mother believes that she's entitled to stop, start and define the relationship between her and the father according to her own whims at any time. Comment 2. I also think that's weird. As far as I know, I am an emergency contact for my niece, not really an issue since she's doing virtual this year, and for the kids of a close single mom friend. I know this because the parents asked me if I was okay with it. IOW, would you be willing to drop everything at a moment's notice for my children in case of emergency? Schools are already underfunded, so I kinda understand it not getting verified. 
but I'm shocked by how many cases I see on here of parents who do stuff like this without checking. I mean, it's only your child. Last sentence needs sarcasm font. Now for the next story. Am I the idiot for telling my mom and stepdad the real reason I was upset? I am a teenage girl and was born when my mom was 18. I see my dad like three days a year at Christmas. My dad doesn't want me as much as he wants his other kids, but I try not take it personally. My stepdad, been in my life since I've been five, is really nice to me, but I don't think he would care if I didn't exist. But he makes my mom and little brother, my mom's and stepdad's bio kid, so happy and does a lot for me, and for that. He means everything to me. My mom's pregnant again and this time I get a little sister. I'm just a little nervous, but my stepdad hasn't said anything about having his first daughter, so I really do appreciate him being sensitive to me, even though I don't think he considers me to be his daughter. My mom is excited for another daughter too, and has been shopping for clothes and been putting together a nursery with me, because I am really good at art and am painting a mural for my sister. She keeps saying things to me like, I am so grateful to be able to give all this to the baby that I wasn't able to give you, and that she is blessed that she doesn't have to do it alone, and that she's really excited to see my stepdad be a dad again. I know I am being selfish so please don't think low of me because OFC I want my mom to be happy, but when she says things like this, I feel like I am worth less and that I am burden. And then I feel bad for feeling bad because I want my mom to have a good life, and she at least stuck around because she could have left me like my dad did. Painting is really therapeutic to me so I've been hiding away painting the nursery. At dinner today, my mom asked me why I've been so quiet and I told her about my feelings. And she got sad and my stepdad had to comfort her. I told her that I love her and was so grateful that she is my mom and for all that she's done for me, but she was still upset. I feel like the asshole because I knew she would get sad when I told her my feelings but told her anyways. I think that hurting someone's feelings on purpose is the worst thing you can do, but I know it's important to be honest so I am really conflicted. Can you guys tell me, and if I am being one, I will make my mom and stepdad breakfast in bed to make it up to them and finish the nursery at night to surprise them. Edit, oops typo, been in my life since I've been 4 years old, not 5. Edit 1, I went to talk to my mom but she was sleeping. My stepdad asked to talk to me. He said he never wanted to put this on me but it was the time. He told me that he loved me and that I am his daughter no questions asked. He said he didn't want to talk to me about being my dad because he didn't want to bring up bad feelings for me about my real dad. He wants to adopt me but didn't want to pressure me and if he did my bio dad would have to sign away his rights. He was worried that my bio dad would one. Not put up a fight and that it would hurt me or two fight but still not want to see me more and hurt me so he was avoiding the topic. I said I want him to be my real dad and that I want his last name. He said we will see what we can do and if it doesn't work we can try and hyphenate. And I can still use his last name as mine on my jerseys and stuff for soccer and that as soon as turned 18 we would change it. He told me he would take care of me forever and that he is so proud of me and that I have never been slash never will be a burden. He said I don't need to be so nice all the time and if I'm an evil teenage girl he'd still love me as much as he does now. He also told me that he never wants me to feel pressurized to babysit because even though they're young parents to me, they are still my parents and it's their job to raise us all. Edit 2, I talked to my mom this morning and she said she wasn't mad at me and just mad at herself. She told me she wishes she could have given me more and I told her that she gave me more time with her and that was enough for me. She said she had no idea how to he a mom when I was born and doesn't know how I turned out to be so good, but she is happy. She told me that I better be selfish today because she wants to go shopping and buy me lots of things. She said I have never been a burden and that I'm the best that happened to her. She said I should go to therapy because being a people pleaser is bad. Also my mom and dad called my bio dad this morning and he agreed to sign away his rights. I got a little sad and cried a lot and ick why because I wanted him to sign them away but my mom and stepdad hugged me a lot. And we are going to have a party tonight with both my mom's family and dad's family. My dad's family especially my grandma and grandpa are really excited that I finally am going to have their last name and grandma has sent me pictures of gold necklaces she wants to have made for me with my new last name. Comment 1. Honestly, this is probably the nicest thing I've read on this sub. You have a loving family, aside from the stepdad aloofness, but they hurt you, and you expressed your feelings. Nobody lost their shit, 
nobody threw anybody out of the house, nobody invalidated your feelings. You were hurt and your mom was hurt but everyone just talked about it, at least so it seems. This is how it's supposed to go. If that's how it went. Nah. Not everything is going to be easy in complicated families, and it sounds like everyone is doing their best. Good on you all. Comment too. I recommend you go talk with them, or just your mother maybe. Nothing will feel better until you share your feelings. It sounds like your mother is talking to you like an adult, sharing her fears and feelings in a more transparent way than she maybe would if you were younger. I have a teenager and I do the same thing to him. It doesn't always fly, and we as mothers need to own that. It's not meant to be hurtful, but it can be, and she should hear this and be able to rectify it. Good luck.